let, let me check both of these okay and then I have two controllers selected here and then I'm gonna add uh, I don't know over where is it mm, it's here variable override and we say copy and then we try to keep the well, now as you can see it changed to um, it changed to the variable override and then the controller uh, curve controller is under that which is here now well uh, even there there are uh, uh, five items I can say uh, in, in the second dimension I can say there are 50 it actually divides uh, these lines in 50 uh, and when you divide it in 50 you will get less distance between them right and what you can do now is just to uh, offset them along the lines like that so that's uh, that's how it works uh, I, I really like the uh, new uh, 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 basically graphical uh, interface of this because you can see the all the controllers and how they're related and if you press if you check um, the the check boxes here and if I can click on this up arrow the check boxes goes up so it automatically select those controllers that you uh, basically their parent controllers of your child controller and you can go the same way inside it uh, inside the curve controller I'm gonna add uh, a random offset just to and that random could be from 0 minus 5 to 5 okay and uh, okay I just r randomly uh, offset these uh, and because this this variable override is there I'm just going to check it and we don't need this much let's make it 10 okay so we have uh, we have this mess <laughs> And the new function here is the you can find the intersection between lines if if you need to. So let me see. Uh, uh, let me create a line from here to there. I'm gonna make a sphere and then I'm gonna tr I'm, I'm gonna put this sphere on intersection or I basically there's no actual intersection so I'm gonna find where is the closest point of this line to those lines that's uh, that's something uh, I want to do um, well we can create an array of 10 for now just uh, show you the new controller that would be enough um, we use the position and there's intersection and, and there is intersection of two lines there is intersection of a line and a plane and there is intersection of two plane so now I choose just intersection two lines and then you can see there are options for A and B uh, and you can pick a line object actually a line object is a spill line with two vertices uh, vertices that's a, that's a what represent the line in uh, 3D Max. Um, I'm gonna make this line and when you click it automatically uh, link the first point and end point to A and B 
Now if you go under first point, it's a link controller. These things are, uh, are everything are just uh, automatically been assigned, and so you don't need to go to the link and uh, do other things. Uh, and here, uh, well, let's choose closest point on first line from the second line. Okay, and then for the second line, I'm going to choose the this line. And because it's a member of another array, you can calculate, you can take all of them in, uh, in your calculation. So there would be kind of a parametric array link, not a single link, because it's a array. And well, it tries to find the closest point on this to that. So as you can see, uh, since there are many of this, it tries to find a uh, first line, uh, which is, I think, this. And then the closest point on this line to this will be this first sphere. And, and so on. And then if you choose the other, the opposite, uh, you will find closest point of those lines to, the, to this single line here. So for example, the closest point of this line to this line is, is, is here. 